Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Kahila or K and oh my gosh, I'm finally doing a little sit down. I'm literally sitting down on the floor so I can be in front of my stash. Just a nice little background. I'm currently wearing my Anchor Tee by Petite Knit. I used hand dyed yarn by Sorella, fingering weight yarn and mohair, both from Sorella. It's on my Instagram if you wanna see the specific colorway and needle size and everything. Anyway, I haven't worn this in a while, so I was like, you know what, let me just wear it for this video and for today in general. Anyway, I decided to sit down, talk to you guys about some beginner friendly sweater patterns because so many people have been asking me recently. I guess this is like the time where everybody's deciding to begin knitting sweaters, which is so exciting. I love when people dabble into like garments and stuff because I'm like, yes, join us for the love of garments because it is amazing, all right? And what really triggered it was when someone asked me like when I started knitting my first sweater after I learned how to knit. And I thought about it, I was like, whoa. I think I told that person a week, but actually I went back to my video where I knitted my first sweater and I said something about like two weeks after I started knitting. So two weeks after I learned how to knit my first project that I knitted was a beanie in a round and then I was like wow I love knitting in a round after just knitting stock in it and around my first ever knit project and my second project was a sweater which it will be one of the sweaters that I tell you guys about in this video and I knitted that two weeks after I learned how to knit I was like I'm getting started I'm not about to wait years before I knit my first sweater so yeah I was very ambitious which I'm glad I was because I am a happy garment knitter now. Anyway, so that really triggered it for me to just like sit down. And then a, a bunch of people have been asking like, oh, what's a beginner friendly pattern, sweater pattern that I can knit? A bunch of people on Instagram and YouTube. So I was like, you know what? Let me just sit down and have my own version. You know, there's so many other people's versions of like what they think beginner friendly sweater patterns are. I was just like, you know what, let me just put mine out there. So whenever someone asks me next time, I can be like, reference that video, okay? And remember, this is just my opinion on what I think is beginner friendly and the patterns that I like. This is based on what I like. So if you don't like any of the patterns that I recommend, there's so many other patterns, so many other videos, watch them, like them, but I'm just giving you guys my opinion and what I like. Yeah, so. We have 15, uh, I have 15, 15, 16 beginner friendly sweater patterns that I'll talk about today. The designers I'll be talking about, of course, Petite Knit. If you guys don't like Petite Knit, I do have other people I talk about. I talk about my favorite things, knitwear. I talk about Well Loved Knits, Handmade by Florence, Kara's Knits, Drops, and Knitting for Olive. So I have a variety, all right? Even though a lot of it is petite knit because when I first started knitting, I was a beginner knitter. I was introduced to petite knit and she has lots of beginner friendly patterns and super simple, basic, classic, beautiful designs. And I'm a super simple, basic, classic woman. So I'm like, you know what? Petite knit is my favorite designer. And so, of course, I'm going to have a bunch of petite knit in this video. But like I said, if you don't like that, I have a bunch of other designers as well. And if you don't care for any of the sweaters, like I said, watch another video or something. I don't know. Anyway, I think a couple of these sweater patterns are free. Literally, I think only a couple. Literally only two, I'm pretty sure, are free. The rest are paid for. So I might make a free version, beginner friendly. I don't have many free patterns, though, that are beginner friendly. So I will have to do research. But anyway... I just wanted to say all of this in the beginning before I get into it. I think that is it. Is that it? I'm going to show you guys pictures of all the patterns that I talk about. I'll write out the name and stuff and everything for you guys. And of course, I'll have everything linked down below. I'm going to talk about... I don't know if I'll really talk about the yarn. I'll let you guys know for these sweater patterns. If you don't, I don't think I used any of the recommended yarns for any of the patterns that because I knitted some of these patterns I don't think I knitted any of the patterns in any of the recommended yarn so if you aren't sure like 
what yarn you want to use, especially if you don't want to use the recommended yarn, especially if some of it is not accessible to you. Just look up the yarn and then you'll see the composition and everything with that yarn, the weight, the size and everything. And then you'll be able to compare a yarn that's accessible to you to it and be able to use it for that pattern. And then gauge swatching is a whole different thing. I'm not teaching any of you guys about that because I don't do it. So that's another thing that you'll have to learn too. Well, you don't have to, but if you care about your projects, I will say, learn about gauge swatching. Just saying. Let's just get right into it, okay? I think I, I talked enough, okay? <laughs> All right, so the first sweater that we're gonna talk about is the Louisiana sweater by Petite Knit. And the first one, two, three, four sweaters I'm gonna talk about are all from Petite Knit, so be warned. All right, Louisiana sweater. This sweater was the first sweater that I ever knitted. So two weeks into me learning how to knit, I decided to tackle a sweater and a Louisiana sweater was my go-to. It, it was the easiest sweater ever. It's a top-down raglan construction. And I'll insert a picture for you guys here. The needles that this pattern calls for Eight millimeter needles and nine millimeter needles so nine millimeter will be for the body and eight millimeter will be for like the neckline and the cuffs and stuff like that so super easy super chunky and I always recommend this pattern for people because especially because I knitted it when I first started knitting okay after only knitting a beanie yeah, I, I jumped into a sweater. That's a that's a jump, okay? People don't usually jump from there to there, okay? So, super easy. The pattern is so easy to read. Listen, you guys will love it, okay? So, highly recommend this sweater for you guys. Chunky needles, chunky yarn. Get into it. The next sweater is the Novice Sweater by Petite Knit. The Novice Sweater Chunky Edition specifically because it's chunky and it uses six and seven millimeter needles so not as chunky as a louisiana sweater but chunky enough to where it's not small you know because i feel like as a beginner knitter not me because i like thin yarn but as a beginner knitter a lot of people don't want to deal with thin yarn small yarn skinny yarn all of those synonyms because the project can take long because knitting takes forever <laughs> especially when you're a beginner so in order to not be discouraged chunky yarn is usually recommended for beginners so chunky edition novice sweater chunky edition she does have a regular novice sweater which is beginner friendly as well it's just knitted on let me see 5.5 and 6 millimeter needles so it's not small those aren't tiny but it is on the smaller side compared to like the nine millimeter for the louisiana sweater so if you can handle it get into it okay but i would recommend the chunky first and then maybe get into the novice sweater non-chunky the regular one if you want to dabble in smaller needles listen i'm a small needle lover so i would suggest it but you know, do what you want to do. The next sweater is the Anchor Sweater by Petite Knit. This, it's basically going to look like this where it has a bunch of ribbing and stuff. And of course, I'm going to show a picture. But this is the Anchor T, part of the Anchor family. But I did knit the Anchor Sweater as well. So I knitted the Louisiana Sweater, the Novice Sweater, Chunky, and this, the Anchor Sweater. And it was so easy. This one... This one is on smaller needles, okay? If you really want to dabble into it, it will take a little longer than the other sweaters I've mentioned. This is knitted on 4mm and 3.5mm needles. Okay, tiny. Tiny, okay? That's my groove, okay? But it is tiny. I just want to say that. But it's great, especially if you want to work on your tension because however many however many rounds this is I have no idea but you just knit rib knit yeah knit ribbing rib stitch so knit pearl knit pearl knit pearl for so long so I feel like this is a great project to practice your tension and evenness of your project if that makes sense you know yeah at least it was for me 
All right, so the next sweater is the Sunday sweater by Petite Knit. This is also a great project to practice your tension and stuff. There is a lot going on in this sweater and it seems like it's challenging. I promise you it is not, okay? You will have to learn a little bit more than you did for the other sweaters, but trust me, super easy. I was still a beginner when I knitted this. This is also another sweater that I knitted. And this one uses, I don't remember. Where are the needles? Six millimeter and seven millimeter needles. So this is on the bigger side, getting to the bigger side. Not like super chunky, I would say. Sunday sweater, honestly, I want to knit another one. There are just so many other sweaters that I just have to knit. And because this one is so beginner for me, I'm just like, I want, I want challenges. So it's gonna be a while before I knit this again, but I do want to knit it again, okay? At some point, because I love knitting this. This was like my first experience in like a little texture I would say like it's it's not like super textured but it was like good enough for me to be like wow I did this do you see this I knitted this like hello it was great all right so that's the Sunday sweater and now we're moving on from petite knit and we're moving on to my favorite things knitwear so I am suggesting the sweater number one by my favorite things knitwear now this is one where I was like should I include it in this because I don't know what's up with my favorite things knitwear but she is not size inclusive and that's <laughs> that's questionable to me especially as a big like she's almost as big as a designer as petite knit I would say and her sizes like go up to XL that's a problem but it it is an easy pattern and I did knit this even though I didn't really follow the instructions because I was just doing my own thing but it is very easy and let me see recommended needles recommended needles are four millimeter and six millimeter so still within that it's like a worsted weight area which is still pretty good I would say it's not too tiny but when it comes to my favorite things that wear just be I have a bunch of her patterns I've only knitted the sweater number one I think she has slowly been updating her catalog to include more sizes but girl girl okay get it together Alright, the next sweater is the Seamless Mock Neck Sweater by Well Love Knits. I knitted this sweater as well. Listen, I wanted to include a lot of sweaters that I knitted because as a beginner, it was like hard to, I don't know, pick one sweater or like pick beginner friendly sweaters. I just, I don't like having a lot of options. <laughs> so I just knitted them all. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so Seamus Mock Neck Sweater by Well of Knits. Oh my gosh, this one taught me how to, I think it's a drop shoulder. Yeah, this is a drop, I'm pretty sure that's drop shoulder construction. It taught me about drop shoulder and which was a different construction from all the raglan sweaters I was used to. I didn't even know there was like a difference. I was like, what the heck is this? It taught me how to knit flat like hold stitches for like the back or the front and then knit one of the sides and then hold those stitches knit the other side and then join it around I was just like what is happening what is this like huh but it was so easy to read it was so great and oh my gosh I wanted to knit this again but like I said I love challenges so I was just like next one next one give me the next sweater give me the next one so she knitted this and it's like beautiful like brown color too oh, oh my gosh anyway so this one called for six millimeter needles and eight millimeter needles. So this was like nice and chunky and oh my gosh, so much fun. So much fun to knit. Highly recommend it. The next one, the next two are actually by Well of Knits, but the next one is a cozy mock neck sweater by her. I don't have this pattern, but I have her other one. Yeah, so I don't have this pattern, but this one is like, it's like a chunky slim knit is how I would explain it. And you use huge needles for this one, okay? Me, I'm not a fan of Super Chunky, so I did not knit this. I think that's why I don't have this pattern. But needles required 12 millimeter needles and 15 millimeter needles, so like huge, okay? Super chunky, super easy, so if you're a person who doesn't wanna dabble into the thinner knits just yet, 
this one will be perfect for you. Like, it's super chunky and beginner friendly. The next sweater is the Sable sweater by Well Love Knits as well. I have this sweater. I did not knit this sweater, but it looks so good. I was like, oh, I need to. But it's so chunky. I just like skipped over it because I was in my thin needle era. Okay, but this one is super easy. It says advanced beginner to intermediate, but as I read the pattern, I was like, this is pretty beginner friendly. So I'm inserting it here. It's chunky yarn, 10 millimeter, 12 12 millimeter needles so you can easily like I don't know what's I don't know what's intermediate about this but I haven't knitted it up so I'm not sure but reading the pattern if the pattern's easy to read then I feel like the knit will be easy to knit up so it's it's pretty easy from what I can see it's a simple raglan construction and nice and chunky so I will say dabble into this. It's it's pretty good. It looks good. The next sweater, which we're on number nine already. Okay, perfect. This is the step-by-step -step sweater by Handmade by Florence. I immediately added this to my list because I was making my list when this came out, when her sweater came out, and I was like, perfect. Oh my gosh. So Handmade by Florence, she knitted and created this free pattern free beginner friendly sweater pattern and she has a version that has no short rows and then one that has short rows for people who want a basic sweater with short rows and I'm pretty sure she also has a video detailing the steps to creating this sweater so I'll link it all down below for you guys but it's free okay this is one of the free patterns and it's on Ravelry I'm pretty sure I had to go to Ravelry which I, I don't use Ravelry but I had to get that so I can see it and figure it out and it is on a smaller side when it comes to needles okay it is 4.5 and 5.5 it's on a smaller side but still good enough to not be tiny so I would say try it out okay tiny needles listen it's great okay once you finish that project and you see the tiny stitches and you're just like I did that like listen just have a chunky knit on your needles and then a tiny knit on your needles and then you know it, you don't have to complete it in one sitting okay it's great anyway highly recommend this sweater especially because it's free okay free is always good you know so the next sweater is the Ollie sweater by Kara's Knit she has a bunch of patterns. I would suggest just going to her website and going through her patterns because she has so many beginner friendly patterns and she like literally only knits with chunky yarn. Like I think she maybe she might have like one or two patterns that are, not, that are on the thinner side but I don't think they're thinner than like six millimeter. Honestly, she knits a lot of chunky so I would suggest going through her patterns but on this list I have the Ollie sweater by her it she uses oh my gosh that's chunky she uses 12 millimeter and 15 millimeter needles you will not ever catch me knitting anything chunkier than 10 millimeter like for a sweater especially but preference okay preference so if you like chunky this is the one for you 12 millimeter 15 millimeter needles chunky chunky okay and the next sweater is also by Kara's knit it's the Lani sweater or Le Lani sweater I'll say Lani sweater and this one is slightly this is not slightly smaller it looks slightly smaller from the picture this is still 12 millimeter and 15 millimeter needles oh my gosh that is huge I don't even own 15 millimeter needles I don't think like what anyway this is a super chunky sweater for you guys beginner friendly most of these are top down I think I think all of these are top down sweaters honestly. I don't knit anything flat so I don't care for flat knitted pieces like panel panel together so I wouldn't recommend those. Top down is just more exciting and more fun but if you if you want panel sweaters I don't think any of these are. You'll have to look that up yourself I'm sorry. I. I can't even think of one sweater pattern that's like knitted flat that I could recommend. I don't think I have any. 
that's a sweater. The 12th sweater is the Early Morning Mist sweater by Drops Design. I was like, let me look up. I was like, let me look up one more free pattern for you guys so I can at least have another free one. So Drops, look through their patterns. They have so many free patterns, so many great designs. So just, just go to them. Like I said, I'll link it all down below. But this one is a free pattern, beginner friendly, and a needle size. What's the needle size? Mm, 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 mm. Oh, four millimeter and five millimeter. So it's on a thinner side but it's free and listen i've been raving about thin needles this entire video okay so you know my opinion by now but it's free it looks good top down beautiful raglan i love raglan that's why most of these sweaters are raglan <laughs> because raglan's great okay so those are I'm not done, don't worry. But those are the 12 beginner friendly slash a little bit advanced beginner, depending on your skill. You can consider yourself a beginner, but still be able to do the advanced beginner because it's not that advanced, you know? So yeah, so those are the non-German short rows. Besides the step-by-step, -step, that one does have one with German short rows, but there's a version without German short rows. So that's why I didn't add it to my German short rows list, which is coming up next. So those are my non-German short rows, beginner friendly patterns for you guys. Now, the next step after knitting a bunch of these sweaters is to start dabbling into German short rows, okay? I knitted so many sweaters before I was like, okay, it is now time to learn German short rows because so many of the sweaters that I wanted to knit had German short rows in it. And that was something I did not want to tackle. But let me tell you. Okay, I haven't, like, when I was looking up German short rows, this and this and this, people made it seem like it was the hardest thing ever. When I tell you it is the easiest thing ever, it is not hard, it is not hard, okay? I went into it thinking it was hard because people were saying it was hard. So I believe if you go into it thinking like, okay, I can tackle this, I feel like it will be easier for you to tackle. Now, let's get into the sweaters. There are only three, which... Help me learn how to tackle German short rows. So the first sweater that I knitted to help me learn German short rows, why did I say it like that? <laughs> German short rows was the It's Not a Sweatshirt sweater by Knitting for Olive. Super, super easy. The pattern was well written, so basic, and I just, I fell in love with German short rows after knitting that sweater. I was just like, are you serious? Is that it? Like, there's no way that's it. I, I thought there had to be more because people were like, oh my God, German short rows are so challenging. No, it's not. Okay, okay. It might be for you, okay? Depends on how you learn, okay? But it's so easy. It's not as hard as people are making out to be. I promise you, okay? I promise you. So it's not a sweatshirt that, ugh, I love that sweater. It was so great. The next one though, the Marble Sweater by Petite Knit. Okay, hold on. Let's back up to It's Not a Sweatshirt. That one, the needles, you'll have to use 3.5, 4 millimeter needles. Okay, it is what it is. Marble Sweater, though, by Petite Knit. That is a chunky knit, okay? Calls for 10 millimeter needles. 10 millimeter needles. This is like my first super chunky knit that I knitted. And... It actually made me like knitting with chunky needles only once in a while okay you see those slipovers I knitted those on 10 millimeter needles because I knitted my marble sweater and it made me you know step out of my tiny needle phase for just a little bit and actually enjoy the chunkiness you know so marble sweater if you don't want to dabble into the thin yarns I was like okay let me put the marble sweater on this list because the marble sweater is so easy the German short rows literally goes by like this super quick and it's just like you blink and you're done so I would suggest learning the German short rows on the marble sweater before dabbling into the smaller knits because it will give you a better understanding of the turns and stuff and it's chunky so it doesn't take long and then it's like oh okay if I could tackle it on this I can tackle it on anything you know oh my gosh my leg is sleeping oh 
hold on, give me a second. All right, and the last sweater that I have on this list is the Monday sweater by Petite Knit. That is the second sweater I think that I did with German short robes. Yeah, and it's, let me tell you, it's basically, literally, that it's not a sweatshirt sweater, just with like one more extra raglan or something or less raglan stitch, I'm not sure. But I knitted that it's not a sweatshirt sweater while Petite Knit was coming out with the Monday sweater and I was just like, oh, are you serious? So then I got the Monday sweater because it's Petite Knit and she's my favorite designer and I do not care if I have the same type of pattern from somewhere else. I'm gonna get it from Petite Knit. It is what it is, okay? I'm a fan. So I got the Monday sweater, knitted that up. I love the way it was written more than it's not a sweatshirt. So I've already knitted two Monday sweaters, okay? I only have one inside a sweatshirt sweater. But if you don't care for Petite Knit, it's not a sweatshirt. It's literally basically the same thing. And if you're a Petite Knit fan, Monday sweater is the same thing. So yeah, those are my beginner friendly sweater patterns. I hope you guys leave this video and decide to tackle your first sweater because trust me, it is easy to knit a sweater. It's not as daunting and challenging as it seems. My legs are sleeping and I need to stretch. So that's all I have for you guys. If you guys have any beginner friendly patterns that you wanna recommend, definitely put it down below because there are so many beginner friendly patterns out there, okay? This is just what I like and what I think will be great for beginners. But if you don't think they'll be great for you, like I said, there are so many other patterns, so many other videos, so check those out. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you worked on, if you worked on anything while watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and click that notification bell because it will notify you guys whenever I post another video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll update you guys on anything dealing with my yarn and my projects. And I'll see you guys in the next one.